Paris city leaders are finally moving forward with removing a dump site out of a predominantly black neighborhood. This comes nearly two years after Governor Bashir awarded the city grant money for the removal. Ali Rood joins us now for our top story with more on the plans city leaders have. Andrea, Marvin, for decades, community members in a Paris neighborhood have struggled sharing their narrow roads with massive dump trucks. City leaders have listened to their concerns and are now following through with a solution. In the 1960s, an incinerator used as a transfer station for garbage was placed in the West Side neighborhood in Paris. It's not a great location. There are very thin roads, one way in, one way out, um, and certainly the regulations that are in place now for how we operate that facility weren't in place then. But city manager Jamie Miller says this wasn't always the case. They used to have a baseball field over there, um, so it used to be a location that the community would spend a lot of time in and hang out uh, before they moved the municipal incinerator in there. After years of community members <coughs> expressing concerns, city leaders are now moving forward with a relocation. The city has secured new land donated by the fiscal court, a $2 million grant issued by the governor, and it's working to secure other grant money. Uh, but the city is taking the steps to make sure that we're prepared to issue a general obligation bond if we're unable to secure other funding uh, to be able to move the project forward. This project has been in the making since 2019. Rising costs and difficulty navigating funds have caused some delays. Miller says in the initial bid process, it was a couple million dollars over budget. So we did a little bit of work to make sure that we're doing something that uh, serves the community, does right by the neighborhood, uh, but it's also fiscally responsible. This week, the city announced five new bids that it's confident in. They range from $3.7 million to $5.1 million. Once a contract is issued, construction can begin on the new site. As for the current site, Miller says no decisions have been made, but its future is bright. Getting that pride back, getting uh, able to go, not necessarily a clean slate, but what do we want this neighborhood to be redeveloped in uh, to reclaim this neighborhood? Miller says the bid will be voted on next week during Tuesday's city commission meeting. Live in studio, Allie Root, Fox 56 News.